You're watching an Involve Me tutorial on connecting a Google Sheet integration to your projects. Using this integration, you can expect an output similar to this one, of course, depending on the data that you collect inside of your Google Sheet. So let's take a look at how you can actually do this. To set this up, you can either navigate to integrations on the top bar if you have no project opened and then scrolling down and finding Google Sheets. Or alternatively, if you do have a project open, on the top bar, you navigate to connect. And then again, scroll down until you find Google Sheets. Once you're here, you click on connect. And then of course, proceed by connecting to your desired Google account. Simply by clicking on the account, clicking continue, clicking continue again. And just like that, within a few clicks, the connection is set up. As you can see, something is still not completed within my connection since it is glowing orange and there's an exclamation mark. So I'm going to click on manage options and here I'll need to either input a link to an already existing Google spreadsheet or alternatively, I can create a new spreadsheet. And just by waiting a few seconds, Involve Me automatically generates a new Google spreadsheet in the account that I connected with. Here, I could also check in only trigger integration when opt-in checkbox element was selected. Be careful about this because if you have this triggered and one of your audience members does not check in the opt-in box, you will not receive the data from this integration within your Google Sheets. This is a fairly common error, so make sure to keep this in mind when constructing your connection. After this has been completed, I can click on save. Now, if I go to the connected project, I can input my name, input my email, city. Another thing that I'm collecting here is what's my favorite color. So I'm going to go for red and I'm going to also subscribe to the newsletter and agree to processing of personal data then click send. So how do I now check in? What is the status of the connection? Simply by navigating to responses and then responses again, you see all the individual responses that have been made. By clicking on one and scrolling down, I can see which integrations have been triggered. By hovering over the Google Sheets integration, I can see that the data transfer was successfully completed. However, you can see that for other responses, this is grayed out. And that is because we've set up the integration after this submission was made. Don't worry though, we can fix this retroactively. Simply by clicking on the integration, I could manually trigger the integration to send the data to the Google Sheet. And if I want to, I could check this box. It would mean that I would get all the submissions for which the integration has not yet been executed. The status, so it is not triggered yet, but it is waiting to be triggered. And then by waiting a little bit, I can see that even my first submission was successfully triggered. And so, as you can see, I have four submissions here. And by going into the Google Sheets, I have four submissions here. And just like that, you know how to connect a Google Sheets integration to your Involve Me. For more support, go to help.involve.me and good luck getting involved. <laughs>